now here we are with a game by Mindscape, well published by them. But the game itself is actually a rather weird French game. And with music by Jean Michel Jarre. Was Don't say. Yes, and as you can hear, along for the right is a British person yet again. Oh, I'm CPC Gamer. Yes. Yes. Who is along because he quite likes this game. Look at that, that looks like Windows Explorer just crashed. Yeah. That wavely nonsense. Yeah, I remember programs like Deluxe Paint back in the day having a function where you could draw stuff like that. Oh, so, the manual has quite a short and rather strange backstory. Um, the, pertinent, the pertinent part is we control a space captain who, due to a hyperspace jump mishap, uh, uh, produced a number of clones of himself who are basically leeching of his life force, and our task is to find the clones, of which five remain at the, by the time this game begins, and find them and, well, basically destroy them so we can get back to living normally. The manual also has a gratuitous cameo by Charles Darwin. Yes. It's the most bizarre thing! Ah, and I imagine that weird picture there that pops up between the title is supposed to be representative of the clone situation or something. I thought it was to do with the... Uh, like the drones that Captain Blood has. Ah, uh, no, these look kind of like fetuses. Although, yeah, they're more human than fish. Uh, Oh, let's get started with the actual game of Captain Blood. Blood. Why not? Blood. Hmm. Oh, what? I'm going to turn on the floppy emulation turbo. It doesn't seem to. Yes, and this even has speech synthesis. What we, a time to be alive. Yes, and we are we begin on a planet. Hmm. Let's see, let's not press this button since I believe this will blow up planets. If memory serves, yes, that's what that does. Ah right, and here we have a galaxy map. Every single pixel on this map is a place you can visit. There's something like 32,000 planets in this game. It's yeah, it's rather expansive. Yeah, it specifies the number in the manual, and yeah, it's a bit over 32,000. Having said that, most of them are barren. Yes. Anyway. Also, this thing here, which I am poking into eye at the moment, is basically a, a cloned space dolphin which we'll control remotely when we want to go down on the planet. It, it, it's explained in the manual, it's a very bizarre story, as we have said. <laughs> yes, I guess I linked the manual in the description. Right. Good plan. Well, I believe we could get started by taking a look what's down on the planet. Ooh, Vectors! That's what's on this planet. Graphics. And also, uh, that the crosshair is flashing the aster. And the diamond shape means we are headed in the right direction. See, if we move to the side, it will flash an arrow. 
telling, hey, wrong way, idiot. And we can also go up and down. Which right now is not necessary. But on some planets there are uh, defensive systems and to avoid the radar or whatever you have to fly close to the ground. Also, right. At the bottom is a speedometer and you can slow down or speed up using the left and right mouse buttons. So now we are going down a canyon of sorts. It's like we're playing Afterburner. We yes. That honestly looked like you may have just hit something. Yeah. <laughs> right, we reached our destination. Now even fancier graphics. I like the way this stuff seems to be loading in. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll bring up... I have the manual here also, which describes the different species. Also, the... Uh, well... One of the crowning features of this game, in addition to the sheer crazy scope, is the conversation system, which it uses symbols which uh, denote different, well, concepts. Like this is howdy. I really enjoy tinkering with this speech system. Because it oh. gets around the idea of all these planets and somehow you can still talk to everyone. Yeah. Well, we can respond with howdy and you are a small yoko. Let's see. I also really like the the garbled speech system that this uh, that the animals here have. Hmm. Let's see. It oh, actually right. reminds me of the um Right, now I remember sorry. this thing at the bottom you is a scroll bar. Mm, let's see. Right there's a Right, Yoko is one of the species and also a like a similar or related concepts are grouped together. Here, like around here, there's different beings and species, and your yourself, your ship, and home, stuff like that. So Yoko, okay, I think this is what the planet. What is pluralized into manual as Yukas, which says, belligerent and underhanded creatures, no class at all. Little is known of their customs. Sounds a little like a Ferengi. Mm. <laughs> yes. But I, I had mentioned that uh, I like the speech system in this game because it sounds like the speech heard in the title tr track to this game. Mm. At least the original version of the title track. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. So... What should we ask? Well, one thing I've noticed... Hmm, I forget how you... Uh, let's see... Ah, okay, it's, he's not finished speaking. Planet... Equals Bow Wow. Okay... Not sure if that's the name of the planet or... Well, to be sure, I'm going to write this down. I have a pencil and paper here. So... These coordinates... No, wait. 
bow bow not bow wow okay and yes that's this coordinate so I guess this is planet bow bow yeah yeah th I thought that was what it was going for unless this game was identified bow wow as like an in-universe exclamation or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh... He likes peace. Or maybe it's a she. I don't know. Yeah, Isn't like... this one of the things that you can ask it and sort of divine what it is? Uh, if you felt the need. Uh, you can ask uh, the species or what? Do you mean ask about? Well, you said it's he or she. Oh, hmm. I I seem to recall that gender is one of the options you can okay. ask about. Ah, okay. Me small. Okay, Isval. Okay, that's a that's a different species. So maybe Yoko is his name and Isval is species. But Isval is a different species. Peaceful and generous beings. Look almost human. Mm, well, compared to some of the other things, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That actually sounds like what this character is, because it just said that it enjoys peace. Yeah. And, and he is wearing quite human-like clothing. It appears to have a necktie. Yes. How smart. Okay, small Yoko fears ship. Oh, he's afraid of us. And small Yoko want to know identity. So if it will now let us speak, yes, we okay. can cobble together. When the ma mouth here stops pulsating, then we can speak. Okay. So, well, let's introduce ourselves. Me. Blood. So. Well, I that, guess. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, okay, uh, now let's see, do we press here to speak? Yes. Yes! Excellent! Oh, the blood. Well, and uh, let's reassure him that... Ah, okay. Small Yoko friend, peace. Uh, pop population, I presume, given the uh, symbol. Yeah. Population, good. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> uh huh. Ship, great, me, small. Okay. Great meaning large or immense. Things. And the rest of that bit. Uh, you blood, you great warrior. Oh. The man says that blood has been hunting his clones for at least 800 years at this point. Yeah. Would he be a no is he a known figure throughout the universe? I don't know, but it would explain certain things. Like, the, this guy just says that we're a great warrior, so does he, <laughs> like, presumably know of the story of Captain Blood? Possibly. So... Okay, well, let's try to... Maybe reassure him that we don't want to hurt him. So maybe me friend you. Also, 
yeah, me friend you, or me like me friend peace, or something like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Let's see. Where's the Where's the friend symbol? It was a two. Ah, there. Just there. Uh, friend. And, and then peace was a dove. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Peace, great idea, spirit. Okay. Is, is well. Ah, so is well is the species. So I'm guessing that Swain saying that he's. People you know are uh, oh yeah are uh, peaceful by nature something like that. Like I say, it it really is like just reading stuff through Google Translate, and I actually kind of like that. Mm. New friend, oh, planet want peace. <laughs> Okay, is there something threatening the planet? Yo go friend. Pop sub. Hmm. Wonder. Can I ask him why it is Hmm Population is sobbing. Could you ask like population sad and then put a question mark at the end yeah, of it? Yeah, that seems to be the most elaborate way I can put it. Oh wait, it's it's not finished. Ah, uh, right. Pop. Uh, sub. Question mark. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh Yoko, you are giving conflicting messages here. We get mixed signals. <clears throat> see. Max and population yoga. It uh. is it population or is it father? Like is he now saying that his father is called is it Maxon? Maybe. <sighs> ah, me like you. You not sob. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. What a nice fellow. Me want rendezvous Ooh, oh. with female. Okay. No. Uh Hmm. Well, let's maybe shuffle on from that sentence. Yes, but let's write this <laughs> down. If we run into a female, presumably of his own species, we'll... Uh, Get back to him. So what are we doing this one? <laughs> we have some numbers across the top of the screen. What are those? Well, those top two numbers are the X and Y coordinates of the planet, and then there's obviously a timer. Now, Captain Blood is slowly de deteriorating because of the clones leeching off him. And the uh, manual implies there's a time limit, but I don't know if there really is a hard time limit in the game. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, now he's saying that... Uh, population great. There's a scientist prisoner. Bad warrior... Take... People as prisoners, I guess? I guess so. 
you free nation blood. Okay, well, helping people uh, seems to be how you progress in this game. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm having to make notes on this. I haven't done this in a game for so long. Mm, yes. <laughs> uh, well, I'm also making notes, so. Maybe that's why he's sad regarding the population. <laughs> yeah. Like, if they're an oppressed people, it's... Well, okay, well, I guess we'll say that we will help. Uh... Alright, me help you. Yes. Let's see if that works. Me. Okay. Okay. Ah. Well, um. I feel like this would be helped if the guys could emote a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, was it good that we suggested we'd help, or...? Or, uh... Right, and this, this is kind of ambiguous. Does he say uh, he wants us to help, or is he saying that he can help us in turn? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see... Uh, let's see, can we... Follow. Location. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Here's different species. And I guess the duplicates are the clones. And so Possibly. I, so I guess here then these are individuals. Blood, Yoko, Maxon. Possibly. The the manual calls the clones numbers. Yes. Which is a little tricky because it also uses <laughs> numbers to mean like here on the right the numeric characters, so Okay. Um, I guess we can ask, uh, <clears throat> let's we could say, ask. oh wait, it's not done talking, <laughs> uh, help friend, good me, help friend, okay, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, you great, <laughs> yay, <laughs> population sad, Okay, let's see. Let's say a uh, scientist prison coordinate. Question mark. <coughs> Me not no prison. I figured. Me help scientist. Maxon search genetic. Okay. Genetics, as in, that's what the scientist was working on. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Scientist, great brain, not like nonsense. <laughs> I like the symbol for nonsense. <laughs> That's a very Japanese symbol, isn't it? Mm, no, I guess yeah, you do see, you know... The pulling the eyelids down yeah. in pop culture and so on. Yeah, often accompanied by sticking the tongue out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know why. Crazy, go prison, you crazy. Um... Ah, uh, well, that's nice, I guess. 
if he needs a female, do you suppose that means that they've had to keep the population going <laughs> through gene splicing? Possibly. It's great how much we can infer from this. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, population prison. New fear prison. Up. Oh. And then he kicked us away. Okay. But, well, since we already sent one down, we can click the question mark to get right back to it. I thought we were doing so well. Okay. Well, let's try asking... Howdy. Howdy, blood. Yes, friend, peace. Mm. Ship, great me, small. You blood, you great warrior. Notice. Seems like that's a standard intro for this guy. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I was thinking of be asking him. Okay, where's the snake symbol? For bad, oh, it's this bad. For ya. Uh, oh, maybe he would know about the bad for ya uh, who imprisoned these people. No, I wasn't saying that. <laughs> this one, not very glorious, yes, okay. But not good. Well, yes, that's how it goes. Me want <laughs> to do uh, Oh, well. If that is the clones of Captain Blood, at the very least we have a, a thread that we can pick at. Yes. So, the blood thickens. So... If there was this great geneticist scientist whom the duplicate kidnapped, it would make sense that the duplicate took it, took him uh, in order to figure out how to extend his own life. A good plan. Hmm. Uh -uh. We need to ask its location rather than. Like, mm. do, do, do you know the guy? Mm. Well, no, like just the sentence you had was good. I'm just thinking, do we need mm. to ask where it is rather than. I guess that I might as well. <laughs> well, might, might make it a bit more straightforward to eliminate. eliminate bit of some ambiguity for your duplicate location no not no duplicate okay one two three me great scientist <laughs> He's demonstrating that he can count. Okay. Is well not... Yes, we already knew this. And that. 
Ah, this is new duplicate crazy want dead. Yes. Me want kill duplicate. Crazy kill well, hmm. well I guess I'll take a peaceful day. Don't even like killing bad very bad people I guess. You go search pop hmm. to come along for a ride. Nice. Okay, so... Hmm. Just this the command to teleport? Okay, well... I seem to recall you can bring other life forms aboard your ship, but I, yeah. at present we don't really have anywhere to go. Yeah, but... Still, that's mm, I, not much reason to refuse, I guess. Well, it's like you say, he's not a warrior or anything like that, so he's, we should be okay. Yeah, and and he wants to be brought wants to be brought to a lady also. So maybe instead of bringing the lady to him, we bring him to lady. Hmm. It's There's probably something here about taking Hannibal to the mountains, but I'll I'll, I'll have to workshop that. Mm. All right. Well, let's ask to make sure. Me teleport you ship. Me not ship. I know you are not a ship. <laughs> he's sad that he's not a ship. Me like go ship search planet. You want me ship danger? Hmm. Me want to teleport you go ship. Hmm. Well, let's just say yes. Yes, me great. <laughs> okay, so chatty, isn't he? Yes. Okay. Right. Just checking the manual here. Yeah. A being cannot be teleported until they want to. So. Hmm. So now we have this chap here. <coughs> so now what? We didn't get any coordinates. Hmm. Indeed, no. Is he not able to give us anything now that he's on board the ship? Mm. Or is he just... Cargo now? Hmm... Mm. Oh. oh, no, not wrong button. Let's see... At the very least, we get to see the mountains rebuild themselves. It's a nice effect. Yes, oh, and we can teleport... I guess we could just teleport him down here to talk to him more. If we want to. 
I think we might need to because we don't have any other coordinates to go on. Well, just to be sure, I shall make a safe state. A good plan. We don't want him annoyed if we just set him back down again. Yes, howdy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Maybe just try. Actually, let's try asking about this Maxon fellow. I figure he won't, doesn't want to know, but... Pop. You see, I, I still can't pass that sentence. Ah, Pop, I mean, like... Ah, okay, now I think I'm just not like Pops. Like that kind of... Father, that kind of way. Yes. Maybe he does... He's saying that Maxon is his father. Okay, now I get it. It's possible. Hmm. Oh, yes, because Yoko is his name and Iswal is... The species. What he is, yes. Okay, uh, so... Uh, so, let's try... Uh, asking if... Well, if if he would know. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if this ends up being our first quest. <laughs> ah, yeah. me search female. Female, good. Scientists know me. Small scientist. Search you, good. So it sounds like he wants to come along with us rather than bringing someone to him. Yeah. Okay, female like say nonsense. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Well, let's just. Well, let's just try this if it'll. Is anything? Planet want peace. Bobo, Yoko, planet. Me, no planet. Ooh. Okay, now we are getting somewhere, maybe. Maybe? <laughs> I've seen that one and there's another similar looking smiley face logo, but I'm not sure what. Cool is all dead genetic, hmm. Dead genetic, great. Okay, not sure what to make of that. A deceased geneticist was a friend of his father's? Mm, if I'm reading this right? <laughs> the genetic great warrior crazy. That one you've lost me. Uh. <laughs> okay, oh, help dead genetic. Give... Okay, I guess... Dead genetic means, you know, in, you know, like a, incapable of reproduction or going extinct. Oh, yeah. Okay, identity of planet dead genetic calls trap for. Hmm. Trap for great planet, great missile danger. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, at least we've got somewhere to go now. Not you not go, planet scrap four. Hmm. Maybe the four is referring to clone number four. Maybe. So let's just. You say we have five to go for this. So. <coughs> so yeah, we have the species. Okay, there's Krulis Ulv and Krulis Var. Which, let's see, the manual says. Uh uh, Krulis. Yeah, they are a species separated into two, two re evolutionary, evolutionary branches which hate each other. But of course! What is it? He knew something about this, so let's. See, ask about coordinates. If he happens to know. <coughs> it sounds a little like the. Mox from Time Splitters. Mm. Okay, so this is that Krulis Ulf are very crazy and they want to kill enemies. Well, he wants peace. Yes, they are crazy. Yes. Yes, we already knew that. They don't like each other. Hmm. 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 Try asking if this dead. Genetic thing would produce anything. Okay, not one. Don't know that. I guess he he doesn't want to die. Uh, well, possible. I guess so. Genetic equals reproduction is well not like that. Okay, dead, forbidden, great nonsense, yeah. Want peace. Ah, the destroy spirit. spirit. Fear is the mind killer and so on. Duplicate want reproduction. Yeah. Okay, yeah, seems like I was on the right track about the duplicate kidnapping the geneticist. Dead. It would make sense plot wise. And but crucial great nonsense. <laughs> Identity dead genetic Oh, so it's this Apparently this same planet. Is he trying to name the planet? So if we ask like what are the coordinates of planet trap four? Yeah, but I think he already told us. Okay, that's what the the last set of coordinates you got was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we can try to make sure and ask again. So let's see the mouse trap symbol. Danger for location. Yep, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> now let's try to get him to... Alright, and now we can teleport him. And we have already been recording this for oh, 95, uh, 45 minutes, so... I think we could... Amazing! Yes, and we have uh, probably progressed to something. All progress is forward. Think of it like this. Yes.